Hey guys, it's Marl here back with another video and today I am trying something a little bit different. So if you watched my New Year's update video, then you'll know that I am planning on branching out a little bit on my channel and trying some new things. And the main world that I want to branch into is the art world. So today <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a video for you guys testing cheap art supplies that I bought at CVS. I got both of these from the brand Art Skills, which I had never heard of before. I got a 12-piece acrylic, high-quality, vibrant colors, it said. Um, and these are Art Skills Premium Acrylic Paints, so we're going to be trying these today. I also got this Art Skills Mega Set, um, which comes with some pastel, some pencils, an eraser, some watercolors, <laughs> some markers. So basically, we have a lot to try out today. Guys, so we are going to start with the acrylics. And as you can see, I have got them all laid out here. Now, the first thing that I notice on these is that the all the labels are painted the same direction except the white one. Um, so like, I don't know what that means, but it's a little like weird, like you can't read the label. Not a big deal, like it wouldn't stop me from using these but it's just a little weird. And the set did not come with any paint brushes, so I'm just gonna use some of my own like cheap Amazon paint brushes, and I am going to swatch these for you guys. The first color that we are swatching is primary, what's it called? Oh, ivory black. So this is ivory black, um, and it looks like a very good opaque black. The next color that we are swatching is ivory white. So this is ivory white. Titanium white. Obviously we're swatching it on white paper so it's kind of hard to tell, but I feel like this isn't as opaque as it could be. Um, like if I get in close, you can see like even like, even though this is white paper, you can still kind of see the paper coming through underneath. It's also like a little chunky. Like it's not like wanting to like smooth out really. Like it's not like wanting to like Oh, really? This is burnt umber. Um, that one probably was my fault. That was a bad swatch because like I didn't pick up a lot, and also I watered it down quite a bit, rinsing off my brush. But either way, this one also you're seeing some like white gaps peek through. Um, I gotta be honest with you guys. I am more accustomed to watercolors than I am to acrylic so <clears throat> I'm not like the best judge like I'm kind of an acrylic noob I do a lot of watercolor work but still okay the next one that we are trying is burnt sienna that is a really pretty color it's like this makes it sound so unflattering but it's like a diarrhea brown <clears throat> but it is like a very pretty hue actually um I really like that the next one that we are swatching, okay, here's another problem that I have with these paintbrushes, is that some of them have like names, like burnt sienna, burnt umber, and then some of them are just like purple, you know what I mean? So that's a little weird. Um, again, not a deal breaker, but not like, you know, it's just something that like stood out to me as weird. So this is purple. This next one is primary blue. This one is called Forest Green. This next one is Primary Yellow. Ooh, that's a nice color. That one is like really opaque and solid and like not streaky, like you can see it compared to these other ones. That one looks really good. So this is Cadmium Orange Hue. This one is Primary Red. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Um, I wouldn't call this primary red necessarily. It's a little bit of a deeper red, but okay, sure, primary red. We have crimson, which is the exact same color as primary red. Literally the same color. <laughs> I can't see a difference. Okay, so here you can see all of the colors swatched out and how they performed. Um, right off the bat, I would give these uh, don't buy because you can get the 50 cents, like, I forget what they're called, like apple tree acrylics from Walmart that work way better. 
than these two and um, these cost a lot more so right off the bat I would say don't buy it but we're still gonna test them out and see how they perform when painting and now let's do some swatches in the art kit okay guys so I now have open in front of me the art skills like box set as you can see it comes with 12 color pencils 12 markers um, 12 crayons 12 pastels a little sharpener an eraser it comes with is this a paintbrush like one of those like okay cool so it does come with a paintbrush I was wrong so we're gonna be using this gross thing and it comes with a pencil that you have to sharpen yourself and also a ruler so <clears throat> I am going to swatch all of these babies out for you so you can see how it perform. So here you can see I've done all the swatches. I've tested how these ones blend. Um, yeah, I figure this is pretty much all we need. You can see how these look. Okay, so I used the pencil sharpener and I sharpened the pencil. And it's a pencil sharpener, so it worked fine. And this is a pencil. So I assume it'll work fine. And also it comes with this little tiny eraser. Um, I prefer to use my kneaded eraser, but this will have to do. Okay, cool. So let's begin a sketch. I want to do something. Okay. <clears throat> I want to be able to use like all of the different art supplies and all the different colors. Um, I asked my friends for some ideas and they just sent me pictures of themselves, which is really sweet, but um, kind of not what I'm going for. So let's, uh, let's do like a mermaid. Okay. So she gonna have, mm, that's too big. Good time to test the eraser. Okay. Eraser is shit. That's my answer. I want her arms to be like very like flowing and free. Cause you know, she's a mermaid. So we'll start with like something like that and then obviously she's gonna have those killer abs um because you know she swims all day and that's a bit of a workout on your abs I'm trying to think of any way that i can avoid drawing hands as, since i got out of feet maybe we have a chance of making this actually look like something not awful if i can avoid hands too you know what i mean okay so like <clears throat> I have a little conundrum here because I know one of the only people who's going to watch this video is Milena. And Milena strictly believes that mermaids shouldn't have scales because if mermaids exist, then they would be mammals and mammals don't have scales. But also, like, I think it'd be really cute to, like, give her some scales, you know? So it's like, do we respect Milena's wishes? Um, we're going to have to put clothes on her because this is a family-friendly channel. So let me think about what I want to do there. I don't want to go like seashell bra because that's like so what if we do like she's draped in seaweed that could be cool so it kind of like comes around like this and wraps up like this hold on i'm doing some fashion design here so let's start coloring, uh, painting, I don't know, let's, let's, let's do the damn thing, okay? So first things first, I want to, uh, okay, I'm thinking. So I think I'm going to do her tail tail, mm, okay, uh, this is so hard because I don't want to use any of it. Um... I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna make her tan, and I'm gonna take some of this on a smaller brush, where's a small brown brush, that's what I want, this one, okay, so on a kind of small round brush, I'm going to take some of this burnt sienna, and this is gonna be, I'm gonna mix it in okay i'm gonna mix it with a little bit of white huh okay so i'm already ruining this and we're only like 16 minutes in and i ruined it i somehow turned her boobs into big black splodges cool so now that i've like officially like ruined that um it's a little bit 
it's okay. Here's the deal. Partially, this is on me. Partially, it's just bad acrylics. That helped. Um, like, I take, like, half... I take, like, half credit for this being, like, terrible. Because, like, partially, like, I just am not good with acrylics. But partially, like, this just sucks. Also, I'm thinking about it now, and I don't think mermaids would be tan because uh, they live, you know, underwater where there's no sunlight. But that's fine. Listen, we don't ask questions around here. So, on camera, she's looking very abstract. That's fine. We're going to lean into it. I'm going to take a slightly bigger round brush, and I'm just going to go ham with the watercolor. So, I want her hair to be, like, this pretty like deepy blue and then like I'm gonna put some purple in it and it's gonna be beautiful oof okay I already like right off the bat like first of all I'm more comfortable with watercolors which might have something to do with it but right off the bat like these are 100% better than the acrylics um like if the art skills brand is in your local CVS and like they have like just the watercolor pack or the acrylic pack and like for some reason that's the only thing you can afford and like you got like no money like I would go with a watercolor that's what that was all for like don't waste your money on the acrylics the watercolor isn't good by any means but it is better than the acrylics I love that moment of like watercoloring when like I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about like, or I mean, I'm sure you do, especially if you, like, know anything about art, but, like, if you don't watercolor, that moment of, like, watercoloring when the watercolors, like, pop, like, when you have, like, a bubble like this and you touch them and then it, like, pops and drips. I love that. I live for that. Now I'm adding in some of this pinky color just to the bottom. It's kind of just mixing together with all these other colors and becoming purple, but whatever. Um, it's doing the Alka-Seltzer thing, which is gross, but like, whatever. Okay, so the hair I really like. I'm going to leave that for a minute. And then I think just so we can get it out of the way, I'm going to use the crayons, I guess, for the top. So I'm going to start with this like lighter green. Uh, and then I'm gonna do like the detailing with the darker green, like the shading and like stuff, I guess. So let's see if we can get like any like any like resemblance of like this is seaweed in here. Hi, can you stop leaking onto my crayon? Oh, oh, shit. oh, shit. oh, shit. oh shit. <laughs> I <f> up. <laughs> ah. Okay, maybe again, I'm not great at working with acrylics. Maybe I was just adding too much water and that was on me. But I do like I use acrylics like I, I do, the thing is, like, I do, like, I say that, and I try to take the blame for it, but also, like, I do use acrylics, like, I paint, like, cool stuff, like, when, when me and my best friends hang out, like, we be painting, and, like, I get some, like, cool stuff, you know what I mean, like, I, like, like, I'm not a great artist, but, like, I'm not, like, crap, and, like, this looks like crap, like, this is, ugh, she patchy, she just patchy, she just don't look good, just don't buy those acrylics, that's, that's, that's what I'm telling you. That's what this whole video is. Just don't buy those acrylics. These are doing something weird when they go over the pen, like the regular pencil. Um, they're like, like getting like crusty, which is like a theme of this video is like crusty art supplies. But um, yeah, no, they're getting like they're doing like a weird, a weird thing is happening. Um, let's take this bright pink and then see if we can just add that in here for like highlighty blendiness. Um, yeah, that looks pretty. I like that. <clears throat> and then we are going to, the watercolors actually, I actually like how they look. I did not like how they swatched, but how they like turned out up here where like they're drying, um, they actually look like really pretty. So I'm okay with that. And then I'm gonna do the tail to like match the hair. 
good. And then I think, because you can see like down here at the bottom, like I got my little like penis fish. Um, <clears throat> to finish the whole thing off, I'm going to take this uh, right right here. And I'm going to take the light blue color of our watercolor set. I'm just going to do like, like some swishes of it to give the illusion of water. The illusion of the ocean. Oh, some ocean. And then I think since we didn't really use the markers, like at all, <clears throat> Okay, I think I'll use this black one and then like define some of these bubbles a little bit. I think I'm gonna take some of these markers and I'm gonna draw in some fishies to go with these fishies. So we got that fishy there. And then I think I just wanna do like some orange fishies, maybe like a little school in the background. This is a little, a little school of orange fishies swimming around. Um, okay, that makes me want to color this guy. So this guy's going to be an orange fishy. Listen. There, there. He's an orange fish. And then, actually, all these guys are going to be orange fish. Orange fish, orange fish. Okay, we got some green guy jellyfish. We got a little school of fishies. And we have used all of the art supplies. So with that, I think we are done. This is the final image um, with some of my fish. Um, got the tail. You got, you know, her body and her face. This is honestly probably some of the worst art that I've done in a long time. And you know what? I'm okay with that. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. Um, obviously, my final thoughts on this art supplies are <laughs> don't buy it. Zero out of ten. Not worth your money. Save your coin, go on Amazon, and buy something better. Um, but with that being said, let me know if you liked this video. Let me know if you want me to review some more cheap art supplies. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.